Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy, because cocktails don't have to be difficult. Today we're taking a look at the modern and the classic whiskey sour. One has egg white, one doesn't, and they've flipped back and forth a number of times since the recipe first appeared in 1862. So it has gotten kind of confusing for a lot of people, and a lot of folks have a lot of bad information. So without any further ado, let's delve into it. But if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified every time we release a new video. First, we're going to take a look at the original 1862 Jerry Thomas version, which was three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon or half of a lemon, and two ounces of whiskey. Cap that off into a shaker tin full of ice and give it a quick shake. Now, in 1862, they didn't have shaker tins, so what it calls for is basically shaking it with shaved ice and then pouring it into a wine glass because it's already diluted. So we're doing a little bit of a reverse of just a dry shake and then pouring it over ice. Pour into the glass of your choice with ice. And garnish with a cherry. And there you have the classic whiskey sour. Now we're taking a look at the modern whiskey sour, which isn't really modern because it's flipped back and forth a number of times. Pre-prohibition, a lot of whiskey sours were done with egg whites. Uh, I'm just not calling this the classic because it's not the oldest one, but after prohibition, things got sweet for a while, especially in the 60s and 70s where egg whites weren't used all that much. But then with the resurgence of the craft cocktail movement, most of the bartenders went back to using egg whites again. So it's kind of futzy in that it's been around for well over 100 years, but it wasn't the oldest recipe. So we have all of our ingredients from our classic whiskey sour, and we're going to add one egg white. And before we wet shake it, we're gonna dry shake it, because anytime you're adding egg whites, if you start with ice first, it's gonna have a bit of a wet taste to it, as opposed to just a more full-bodied flavor where the citrus and the whiskey comes forward first. If you don't trust me, try them side by side you'll know what I mean. Next, we're gonna add some ice and wet shake it. Straight into the sour glass of your choice. And garnish with a little bit of bitters. Now, a number of people do like bitters on their classic style as well. It's really just a taste preference though it is not called for in the original Jerry Thomas cocktail. And easy as that, you have the modern whiskey sour with egg whites. Mm. Of the two, my preference is always going to be with egg whites. The flavors are not radically different, but there is a texture and a roundness that comes from a cocktail with egg whites that you just can't beat. That being said, if you don't have any egg whites or you have an aversion to them, this simple classic cocktail is frigging great. There's a reason why it was written down almost 200 years ago, and there's a reason why people still drink it. But if you've never had one or the other, try them out, try them side by side, and let us know what you think. Cheers from Drinks Made Easy.